Hey everybody, welcome back to Art of War EU4 multiplayer feature myself, Northern Line, as well as a Roomba, Mathis, and Quill. Say hello. 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 Hey there. Hello. Alright. Let's begin. So <laughs> I was trying to like look around and be like, Whoa. what was I doing? Uh, and the only thing I remember was ruining the Timurid Empire. <laughs> did you really? Are you still playing as the Timurids? Uh, uh, for now, I did get comments. I did get comments in my videos like Mathis. You should just load up as a new country every video. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's a great idea, but I want to see if I can maybe like. I feel like every time I lose, I win because I learn just a little more. Well, there you go. That and, is uh, true. Maybe yeah. one day, maybe one day, I'll be good enough to stand up to Northern Lion, which is, <laughs> I mean, it's not saying much, but it's saying something. You could probably stand up to me right now. Well, just because I have numbers over you and you just got crushed. Yeah. People were telling me to attack you in the comments. Like, go attack Ryan. He's easy. Like, that's just... I, no. The, the no. spectrum of comments that come up here are crazy to me now that I've heard that people are telling you to feast on my carcass. Should we, like, <laughs> should we at least, like, make it clear to everybody that we actually hate each other? Like, in real life, there is no friendship between the four I of us. I think they've we, already discovered it. For for yeah. pure paradox cash. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's the only reason we do any of this. We don't even like the well, games. We don't like each other. We sold out like at totally. the same time, right? Right. That was the goal. <laughs> we were like, we don't want to work with each other. And then they just sh shook bags of gold in front of us. Yeah. We're like, all right, well, I guess. Oh, God. I guess I spent time with these bastards. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Free access to the DLC the day it comes out. Where do I sign? <laughs> <laughs> Please and thank you. In well, it's the it's the day that it comes out, but it's like forty five minutes after it comes out. So ah, I end up every time, it. every time there's that like, do I buy it or do I can I wait forty five minutes? <laughs> and yeah, I I can't I can't. Yeah, I think I've bought every single expansion. Oh yeah, and then and I, I get buy, the email. I have all the music and all the here's a review copy all the stuff. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, I have everything. All the DLC, baby. Well, that's how you know Such that... Such a sucker for it. You know, for people who think we're not joking, that's how you know this is a labor of love. <laughs> people, like, actually, you know, big fans of the game, and that's why we uh, play it so much, and that's why, despite the fact that I think Arumba is a fucking fascist, uh, I <laughs> keep playing. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so yeah, for people okay. who, who are watching this and they're getting ornery, you know, if, if, I can't help it if you don't like the way the series is going... That is completely within the bounds of, uh, you know, your own enjoyment and, and opinions. But personal attacks on... Well, I only saw from my own and Aruba's perspective this week. They're thinking encouraged. I'm... Uh, I saw people just be like, Northern Lion's an asshole because he's not rolling over and surrendering. And then that was, you know, before you shit on me. And after you <laughs> shit on me, it was like, Aruba's an asshole for not giving uh, Northern Lion, like, a way out. It's like, we're, we're playing a competitive game, you know? People win, people lose. We're all uh, still on good terms with one another here. I gotta I'm, believe I'm, there's a silent majority. I'm not. I hate you. I hate you <laughs> so much with a passion. There was like a little bit of a conspiracy theory <laughs> going on. Someone from your subreddit, and I know that they were there because I was doing some investigative journalism. And I was like, yeah. uh -huh. whenever I saw somebody post something that was a little bit, eh, I was like, click on their user history, see where they've been. And there is always like a Roomba 07 subreddit there. And he's like, came to my subreddit and it was like, so what do you guys think about Northern Lion using a glitch to fight a Roomba? <laughs> and I was like, whoa, you, you got like oh, some kind of... Back up, kinda, buddy, back up. Yeah, an agent provocateur here or something like that. Mostly I was mad because he uncovered mm -hmm. the fact that it's true and I knew that glitch existed and exploited it to my own uh, gain for sure. Right, right, right. Yeah, Obviously. of course. I still exactly remember what I did, by the way. Totally. Yeah, me too. <laughs> One of those statements is true. <laughs> it's not yeah, Northern did, Lions. This what did you right. do, anyway? I forget. Uh, I released some country and then even oh. though I owned the land... I didn't have control of the land, oh. so people thought I shouldn't have been able to release it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember now. Not a big deal, really. Probably I mean, it was, was a glitch, but I'm, it wasn't intentional. Yeah. yeah. So you want them to believe? <laughs> so what I'm what I'm most interested in is uh, like how how's it going, Northern Line? Like how you how you doing? The country's gonna be fine. It's gonna take a little while to kill all these rebels. Um, yeah. But you know, I'm gonna survive. Does anybody uh, yep. want a cashmere sweater? So That'd there's. Be nice. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, take, I'm taking them right now. Taking cashmere? Mm hmm There's definitely, I, I think, like a bug in the support rebel screen right now. Not that I'm supporting rebels. I would never do that. But, um... Okay, now, you know, we're <laughs> on good terms. That's, you've made your point. <laughs> but, um, like, it used to be that if, like, okay, previous to patch 1.8, if you supported rebels, it would tell you, like, the total revolt risk in all provinces. But I think when they changed it to unrest, 
it's showing some weird number. It's like yeah. point point zero six percent, and it, there's no way that it adds up to that. It's just kind of strange. But patch one point nine is uh, next week. Uh, next looking, time, the disaster stuff looks interesting. Yeah, all those peasant wars, you know, that some of us here are experiencing a lot. It's going to be a little Happens. bit more predictable and understandable. Look, when yeah. your peasants want independence, <laughs> you either shoot them in the face or they somehow get the guns you have and you run away. Mm -hmm. Now, Mathis, haven't you had two peasants wars in this campaign? Negative. Only one that never ended. Oh, okay. <laughs> it almost we ended, and then uh, and then Quill attacked me, bastard. <laughs> you were weak. You kept talking about how weak you were, and like, well, and you actually taunt, at some point you said you should just attack me right now. I was like, well, yeah, right. at that no, at that point, all was lost, <laughs> and I welcomed some form of stability in in the form of a new leader. Mm -hmm. So here's how well things are going for me. Uh, some rebels in some province, some country, just like transferred a province to my ownership. I'm thinking, Changsha, unless that used to belong to one of my vassals, but no, they have no core or anything on it. It just all of a sudden I have this province. Weird. Weird. Oh, and or you complain about it? Uh, how did right? that happen? Why, or like, you? I have no idea. Just all of a sudden I'm like, I had three things that I needed the core, and then all of a sudden I had a fourth thing in the list. I'm like, wait, mm -hmm. what? And yeah, oh. I have this little blob, which is great because it puts me adjacent to another country that I can holy war. You didn't have, uh, they didn't give you a core for it. Interesting. No, I have no idea. Maybe there's something I'm missing, but for whatever reason, I own this province. I'm going to go ahead and declare war on Meow before they have any allies. Good old meow. So, Northern Lion, are you going to be, um, are you going to be trying to embrace Sunni? All right, what was I going to do about that? It was, um, I was going to let You're Sunni rebels <laughs> take control of my country. Um, they're, they're so far away from actually doing it <laughs> yeah i like, don't know if that's gonna work they out haven't even, you, really. they haven't even had an uprising yet so like right now i've got a i've got the worst kind of independence or the worst kind of rebellion which is like melindy is like we want to be independent I'm like okay that's not good that doesn't help me how does that help me ally with the ottomans without breaking the rules of our gentleman's agreement at the start it doesn't and earlier in this video i had to decline another alliance with portugal Mm -hmm. God damn you, international Are they still law? in the top? They're still in the top ten? Yeah, I, I would have to believe so. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're eighth. Yeah, I've got to check and make sure the Mamluks haven't moved. They We're going by... Um, on them. Yeah, the Ottomans are level one. 13th. Number one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Ottomans are first. That's normal. Ottomans, France, Timurids. Wow, Timurid, man. Spain, Great Britain. Oh, Great Britain formed. Mm -hmm. Austria, the Commonwealth. They've been around for a so while. So I Portugal, can't ally Genoa. Portugal... But Mathis can just be one of the top ten countries. You found the yeah. loophole, my friend. Some of us just need a little more help than others. <laughs> it's true. He, he usually upgrades. Like, whatever his score was, he doubles it when he chooses a new country. <laughs> and then I run it into the ground. He's not going to switch to Ulm or something. That would be That's crazy. next. <laughs> Ulm gone wild. <laughs> I'll be the Oirat Horde after this. Whatever. Oh, Fuck, That'll be fun. <laughs> I'll be France. Hey, Quill, did you see? Uh, did you see that for the next patch, they're changing um, same continent colonization with local autonomy? No, I hadn't noticed that one. Congrats. So that was that was one of the things that we were kind of. Yeah. I think everyone was kind of disappointed in, and now it's going to be you can you have a zero percent autonomy floor, but you have to core the province, so you don't get a free core on same continent colonization. I, yeah, I can deal with that. I think that that's awesome. I think that's a really good solution. Cause, cause I remember when you had to core all your colonies. Yeah. They were cheap, but you always had to core them. Mm hmm And you had to remember to core them, which yeah. was not easy for me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited about that. And that would certainly help out for the multiplayer campaign here, since I'm colonizing so much stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, I'm not. I have colonized anything. <laughs> yeah, I keep, don't hear, need to colonize I keep being told that once Ryan. I can see you, I'm going to be scared at your size. No, he's I gigantic. At your girth. You are. I, I don't. I don't think you'll be. Uh, I think you and uh, you and Quill are. Oh, I still think Arumba's bigger than you are, Quill. It, it's hard to say because I've got all the vassals, right? So yeah, that's. Oh, that's true. With the vassals, you guys size. are probably equal. Maybe even you're a little bit bigger than Arumba. The truck agrees. Mer -mer. Man, what's up with yeah. these? Uh, Melindian nationalists actually like doing stuff and not just uh, sitting here in the province that they already sieged. That's not the way this is supposed to work. 
they they want independence like a lot. So they actually like, I'm not. You might be being facetious, but are they like actively seeking out my armies? Because I'm not used to rebels doing that. Usually they just sit there and wait to be crushed. <laughs> well, these are oh, nationalists. Peasants are stupid. They'll just oh, sit okay. in one province, and never do anything. Nationalists will try to siege down provinces that are of their culture. And if you check on your um, F18 on your your stability and expansion tab, yeah. you'll see like a progress bar. Since they've got a bunch of your land siege, there should be a progress bar showing how long it'll oh, be. Oh yeah, there is, believe me. Yeah, if it hits that, they'll just become a new country. They'll become independent. I think I I may be able to stop them. But I've got to okay, get the siege fine. finished very quickly. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. A lot of people were like, okay, so I, I was gone all of last week. I didn't get to watch, I didn't get to read a single comment until I got back. And uh, so I had no idea how people were going to take the last seven videos that we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, most people, at first, they were like, yeah, get him, Arumba. Kick his ass. <laughs> 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 and then, and then though, there was a bunch of people who were like, man, Arumba's a dick. He's being an asshole. <laughs> but then... The video from yesterday, or today actually, um, people were like, wow, you really should have done more. <laughs> <laughs> you let him off the hook. What were you doing? And it's Turns like, out there's not just one voice on the internet. Yeah, I know. I mean, they, people they were, all sound the same in my head, though. <laughs> they were every, every direction. I mean, every representative opinion was there. The doves and the hawks. But, but you, definitely, uh, you definitely did. I mean, accepting that second peace offer was the right decision. It, it would have gotten much worse for you if you hadn't. Yeah, yeah, and I, I'm realizing now that I wouldn't want it to be much worse. <laughs> yeah, I am still supporting rebels in your country, but um, <laughs> only because it's funny, not because I want to wreck your country. Right, that, that makes sense. <laughs> and I got all Just this money. The, what the same spend reason it on? anyone does anything. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get some cock, guys. Okay. Yeah. Some what? I don't know, Some man. Cock. Something gross. What did you say? A O C H. <laughs> cock. <clears throat> oh, it's, maybe it's coach. Could I be. See. Um, core that bad boy. Why do I have troops break from up Nepal? Air all the way over here. Uh, they're one of my vassals. They're confused. How big is the uh, the coalition against you right now, Quill? It's, uh, it's pretty big. Is it oh, dangerous this? countries though? Because I'm seeing like a couple yeah. of law ones. Like there's some douchebag called Song Hai who's in on this. Song mm, Hai. Yeah. yeah. yeah I remember Korea, remember. Langjang. You're Heights in the coalition State. against him. Yeah. Don't you remember? None, I joined none it. of these. Are you wouldn't even be able to participate in that war. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I just want to be involved life. in it. Give the AI confidence that they can succeed. Maybe I should join <laughs> the coalition. <laughs> My biggest problem like, right now is I don't know what to do with all this land. Like I'm already at ten of four <laughs> diplomatic relations. Bamanis has now made Ethiopia their new rival. Bamanis, you know better. You're not even yeah, Mathis anymore. Has always been a jerk. You're, you're not even Mathis anymore. That's so how you know it's bad. <laughs> Ever since they took over Orissa, they've been a real jerk. Yeah. Don't be fresh. You <laughs> certainly are uh, refusing a lot of peace offers, Quill. I'm getting a lot of pop-ups about you. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you should uh, take me off country of interest. Or change no. your pop settings. Um, no. No, I need to know what's going on over there. It's important. Is that Nepal? Oh, Nepal's like. I, mean, I need to finish uh, coring my dong, and then I can core the cock. And then. These I, names are funny. At first, I was worried because I had to go open my door for my cat, and then I heard you talking about your dong, and I was mm -hmm. like, ah, the, the spirit is being carried on at least. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can do this without you. It's all right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Melindy is just going to be able to declare. Independence. Good for them. I'm happy for them, really. Because, like, they they own a lot of provinces. But I'm taking them back. But it's not stopping them. Oh, and never mind. I took Malindi. That stopped them. <laughs> well, I'm about to... I think I'm about to attack somebody who might be in your coalition, Quill. I don't All know right. if you want to jump in and... And we're not supposed to collude, so I am not doing that. Don't worry, that I'm pretty aggro when it comes to spotting something. I'm I'm not particularly concerned here though. I can't I really can't go to another war. Like I this multiplayer is bad for me. <laughs> Speed two mm -hmm. is really bad for me. Because you get bored and you just want to keep growing? Yeah. yeah. Well I noticed that Assam was not in the coalition against me. Who? But if I declared war on them, it would bring in two other people. It would bring in Coke and it would bring in Nepal. 
which I think were in a coalition against me. It's like, oh, this is a perfect way to start grabbing more land. And then Meow became available. <laughs> it was like, God, I have a problem, you guys. <laughs> My name is Quill, and I have a problem. <clears throat> I have too many damn vassals. Although I'm halfway to integrating... Who is this? Doesn't tell me on that pop-up. Uh, Chumpa. One of the first things I grabbed at the start of the game. So right now I'm just waiting for a couple of cores to finish so that I can just eat all of Nepal and not be overextended. There you go. I'm just hoping to finish westernizing soon. Ah, that is going to be uh, so bad for all of us. Export cashmere sweaters. <laughs> well, lots one. I don't know. People, it, westernization certainly is a lot easier now in this patch, but mm -hmm. it's not nearly as good as it used to be. I don't think it's as good as people are expecting it to be. Because the only thing it's really going to do is put me in a bit in a different tech group, give me lower tech costs, mm -hmm. and allow me to to catch up to the Western tech group a little bit because I'll get the neighbor's bonus. But aside from that, I'll have the same unit type, and that's it. Then you'll have no see, excuse to not pick on uh, on Europe instead of Africa. Well, no, I'll still have I'll still have sub you know sub-Saharan troops. I'm not going to have the uh, you know Gallo glass infantry or whatever they're called. I've I'm going to have. Faith in you. I've got what do I got? I've got West African warriors. <laughs> Shit's <laughs> good, man. <laughs> they don't have guns. Sharp sticks. Yeah. So. Sharp sticks and. Yo, man, this, I'd like to see you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a West African warrior. I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. <laughs> That's why I'm afraid. Like, Quill's about to be touching me soon, and not in an appropriate way. <laughs> and I'm like, don't, dude, please. Yeah, I'm not staying on my side of the couch. <laughs> I just want peace with you for a while, Quill. I want to enjoy the Timbrids for a while. Yeah, I got too many other little things to, to yeah, pick up. Yeah, fiddle with just your little thing. Excuse me? <laughs> you want me to fiddle with my cock and my dong? Exactly. You've got right. it. And then after that, maybe if you're feeling that way, you can go mess with the rest of Vagina Gar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> totally missed that. They still exist, too. They do. Two They're provinces on Ceylon. Tiny as hell. I'm going to have to take a bit of a chunk off of Amanus first before I can really yeah, do anything. Yeah, I appreciate to... that. Those guys are jerks. Bamanus? Hey, whoa, yeah. hold up. They embargoed me. They were good people when I ruled them. <laughs> Except for the peasants, fuck them. I was going to say. You had a fuck. problem with the people. You were not exactly the man of the people back then. I am still a man of the people. I always was a man of the people. Stupid mountains. Yeah, dumb mountains. Mountains are stupid. <laughs> Can we just... No. Okay, thanks. I don't know what you, you were going to say, but no. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm musing out loud, to be honest with you. Musing? All right. I'm trying to learn the game still. I only have like 100 hours into it. That's, That's the all? other thing, man. I play only when I play with you guys. That's the same here that now. That makes a difference. Although I, I, don't did have put, time. Uh, I put a few hundred hours in in solo play, but it was not like meaningful learning. Some people were like, I don't get how Northern Lion's still so bad at this game. He has no excuse after playing for so long. And I was like... Arumba plays this game like 35 hours a week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I play The Binding of Isaac like, uh, yeah, you know, 35 hours a week, basically. It's like, uh, dude, play you know, Project Zomboid with me. <laughs> right. Ba back in high school, maybe I was like really good at wrestling or something like that. I'm like a 40-year-old dude now who wrestles his kids once a week or something like that. <laughs> I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe against, you know, Ziggler or something like that. It's a different Project kind of wrestling. Project Zomboid, though, official release date. Oh yeah, quarter one, twenty fifteen. That's like not far. Ne next month, yeah. I'm excited. So Finally. Korea's having major problems with rebels. They've got like Korea multiple, really? multiple stats oh, yeah. of like thirty. Wait, how did the Korea get over there? That's weird. Uh, well, they ate Ming. Ming's being everyone's oh. whipping boy here, right? That's sad. Ming was better than that. <laughs> at one point. Come on, Ming. You're better than that. Come on, Ming. Oh, man. These Mutapan nationalists. Mutapa! <laughs> they own, like, all of Mutapa. But somehow hmm. they, they still have not been able to declare. It's gonna What's be the progress bar at? I'm not going to tell you. 
It's gonna be hard. For <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> it's gonna be hard for me to get there. You know what? I want you to feel like you're wasting your money. I'm not gonna give you any information that. Oh, I'm not spending money on it anymore. <clears throat> I, I feel. I really feel like there's just not enough information when you're supporting rebels. I can't. I just. I have no idea if I'm doing making any any progress. That was a quick episode. Oh man, I just realized I recorded this whole one in 720p. God damn it. Oh, man, no. that 720p map. <laughs> <laughs> Won't even be able to read the text unless I get real close to it. Damn it. Darn, oh well. Next one will be in 1080p, I promise. Yeah. It's Do we want to wrap man. this up, it's I'm assuming? Good. Yeah, I got to figure out this peace deal Let between me, uh, episodes or something. I don't know. Okay, peace yeah. your deal. I, I had a tick, so I'm good. Did you pull it out? We, I've never uh, I've never actually had a tick bite. It's gross. Yeah, I don't think... Ticks. Ticks are the only bug that, like, skeeved me out. I don't know if they exist on the West Coast here. It's another reason to move down to the West Coast, I, I guess. guess. so, yeah. We got a lot of spiders, though. Eh, there's spiders everywhere. Everyone's good? Yeah. yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Well, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. See you soon.